just for the record, if there was a war between uh, Mount Calvary and St. Cloud, Mount Calvary would definitely win. I got to be neutral. I love St. Cloud. <laughs> I've been here 14 years. I've always been in St. Cloud. Seven more years, I'll be in St. Cloud longer than Mount Calvary. <laughs> and it, years ago, it was a rivalry. It was very much everything. Is it you know still that I, way or no? No, no, no. Not at so? all. When I moved to St. Cloud, bought my house, and I joined the fire department in St. Cloud, um, Mark Petrie, which was Mount Calvary Fire Chief at, the, at that time, um, back in, it would be 2002, 2003, I played baseball for St. Cloud Fire Department, and we played against Mount Calvary the first game. And Mark Petrie at that time was selling his house. He's like, you know, Neil, there's a house in Mount Calvary. You want to move into Mount Calvary? <laughs> <laughs> and they, they still kind of give me a little grief once in a while playing, <laughs> playing softball. Um, with the guys. As they should. And, uh, As yes. they should. I mean, granted, my mom got my house at a, at a steal for $30,000. <laughs> my parents got a foreign exchange student in 19, uh, 2000, uh, 2000 um, from Germany. And my mom's like, you guys got to get out. We're going to have a foreign exchange student from Germany. So, so I had less than a month to find a place. She found an ad in the paper. I, I can't believe uh, that, yeah. that was your, how much your house uh, cost. It was, I mean, it, Maggie did a good job with the house. It was beautiful. It used to be Lefevre and um, Lefevre Builders, and it used to be the Kangaroo Shoe Place in St. Cloud. When um, was that? How long ago? Was uh, that? 1908. We uh, gutted my, my whole house, and we found um, some artifacts from 1908. We found some other artifacts from the 50s and 60s. Um, what would be risk a mo- uh, army literature? Okay. And we're like, we're like, really? In, in the floorboards and stuff like that, and none of the family that we know that live there oh that wasn't i in mind that's really um, funny but um it was old i mean the electrical i mean you put a lot of work oh yes it. definitely yeah. we gutted it all i mean the only electrical there was out of the light socket that's all you had for electrical there was nothing on the walls no electrical no nothing really downstairs was a little bit more electrical the the kitchen was up you know 70s uh-huh. 70s type you know not much insulation so the winters it was cold so we had to gut it all and redo everything i mean Everybody comments is, you know, the house, the foundation is 1908. Out next year, the house is more like 1908. Yeah. Um, but we kind of built it up and stuff. Yeah, so. it's in a good shape now. Yeah. Uh, so I can't, okay. I can't comment on, you know, who's gonna win. You know, <laughs> if I say Mount Calvary, the guys in Mount Calvary are like, yeah, yeah. I grant that I'm born in Mount Calvary and I'm part of St. Cloud and I do a lot in St. Cloud, so. I want them to do both do good. Nowadays, Whatever. everybody, we, everybody, there's, there's enough kids. And actually, today my son played t-ball, and there was 34 kids that from the ages of five until eight, so in St. Cloud that lived just in St. Cloud. A couple years you'd have one or two kids. So there's a big growth in St. Cloud right now. So. Um, all those kids moved to Mount Calvary. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> Blame when they, when they get adults, I'm sure sooner or later. Yeah.